Hey everyone, welcome back to another Anime Kingdom review. As you can see by the title below, this is on episode 6 of Tales of Zestria The Cross. And yes, this is the continuation of last week's episode where we're pretty much watching Tales of Berseria. I was saying Bestria, sorry that was wrong. Tales of Berseria. Um, pretty much this episode, um, from the looks of it obviously at the very end, is the last episode to that they will be showing of Tales of Berseria. So... This is pretty much kind of just like promotion for the game that is coming out. I think it comes on the 18th or something like that soon, like next week or this week or something like that. It's pretty damn soon. That's all you got to know. And it was pretty much advertisement for the show. So that's why this episode was the last one at the very end. They said that they would not be in it, you know, in their, that little skit that they usually have. And instead, we'll be going back to Tales of Zestria the Cross. So I guess they only put that in just as a promotional advertisement kind of thing for the game which I guess it's okay because it was pretty damn badass and I could definitely see myself going to buy the game and maybe streaming it for you guys as I have said that I am going to be start streaming some games and stuff on my Twitch channel to which if you want to go check the Twitch channel out uh, link of it will be in the description below so yeah let's talk about the anime so far uh, what happened in this episode pretty much um, Oscar one of Artorius's um, I guess one of his top exorcists has arrived they have a crazy ass action fight like literally I was waiting for an action fight like this in Tales of Zestria the cross um, uh, just the Tales of Zestria part it wasn't you know it wasn't there wasn't any crazy action scenes of swords clashing like we saw in the first episode it was still really good beautiful as always in the other episodes but there wasn't any cool like ching 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 ching, ching, ching. yeah that's how I, my, the sound of swords i think makes so this one was a particularly good scene him going um oscar going against velvet seeing them clashing against each other love seeing um velvet's type of fighting style with her like knife boots as well flinging around him fighting them fighting each other it was totally badass like literally the action and fighting scenes of this episode was literally badass we had the first fight and then we you know between oscar and velvet and then we had this crazy fight with of course a dragon appearing so last week's episode uh, not last week's but last last week's episode where i thought something was gonna big gonna be coming to fight obviously you know sore and everyone else i thought it was gonna be a dragon um, probably not going to be maybe that's still a possibility but a dragon is something that's super powerful and I, we got to see it fight we got to see one in action in this Tales of Berseria um, this whole two episodes I'm guessing is more of like a, a prologue to everything that's going to be happening in the game so obviously this is not really any spoilers or anything to what's going to happen in the game so it's pretty interesting to see that they would do a promotional thing like that but overall the action scenes in this episode was awesome the animation and art was awesome in this episode the music, the soundtrack during that fight when, you know, um, Velvet consumes Sedes and then ends up going off against the dragon was total badass. Like, it really matched and it was perfectly put. Honestly, just like literally an awesome episode full of action throughout the whole thing, literally. We got new people, um, a girl, I forget what her name is, she has a super ass long name, um, some type of mage, and then of course the guy with the long sword does come up to try and help and fight as well, to which in the end they can't really end up being the dragon, um, not even Oscar can defeat the dragon, it ends up being, you know, Velvet coming out with her crazy arm thing and pushing it down, I'm not too sure, she was called like glutinous or I don't know what the hell she was called, but they, she's pretty much just something that kills demons and everything and we get like flashbacks and scene of her past as well about her brother being killed by Artorius and we see that she does I think call Artorius brother as well so I'm guessing him and the other brother are brothers and he ends up killing his younger brother that's why Velvet is so mad kind of thing I I'm not too sure if they're blood related obviously I can see the brother the younger brother and Artorius being brothers because the hair color and everything but Velvet does have black hair and different color eyes so I'm not too sure if like she really if they're like blood related or if they're even siblings at all and maybe she just calls them brother because they're close kind of thing i'm not too sure but that's probably all going to be explained if you decide to go and get the game this episode was more like a prologue just showing the character showing her hatred towards artorias showing 
pretty much what Artorius is, like what he what he has done, this showing the world off and everything. This is a good uh, these two episodes were a good way to advertise and get you excited for the game if you want to get the game. As a person who's never played any Tales game, it did definitely look interesting enough for me to probably end up wanting to play the game later on because I do like Velvet as a character. I do like the story and everything and if the action, if there's cutscenes like how they were in the scenes in this anime of action, then I w it's probably not gonna because come on, Ufo Tobo is just on awesome when it does these kind of things. These action scenes were pure awesome. But yeah, so of course, I, I still have some questions on certain things. Obviously, no one's gonna know it really. Like who, what, whose comb was that? I'm not too sure. I forget the name was, but she had a comb. That's why Sidious was willing to sacrifice herself and everything. I'm not too sure on what that is. Something from the game. That's why there's a lot of things in this these two episodes that's hard for like me to ask people, game, you know, people who've played the game, um, Tales of Zestria, or any of the other Tales games, what is going on in this because the game hasn't even come out. Maybe you, some of you have played the demo, so you know a little bit of what's going on. But it's pretty crazy to see that they would decide to put this in here. If anything, I, w I honestly would have felt that they would have made like. An OVA of just these two episodes, Tales of Berseria 4, Tales of Zestria of the Cross, instead of putting it in the anime itself, kind of thing, if they wanted to advertise. But um, I guess they decided they wanted to do it like this. But overall, the episode was pretty action packed, epicness, full on Oscar versus Velvet was awesome. Velvet and the rest of the crew trying to fight off the dragon was awesome. Set is protecting Velvet for reasons. Um, I don't really know yet. Something to do with the comb. Obviously, sacrificing, her, um, letting her get consumed by her, gain a new power, gain a ring of some sorts. I'm not too sure if that what that ring does or anything. Maybe it just gives her fire powers. I'm guessing. And of course, them going on the boat, heading towards the the uh, um, the capital city and everything, and going to try and kill Artorias. And that was the end of the episode. So overall, I gotta say, how do I feel about this episode? It was definitely an awesome episode. Definitely the action scenes that I love watching from you, Fotobo, and just love the whole story that is going on behind Velvet, and definitely am interested in you know playing the game in the future. Um, overall, how do I feel about the arc? Like I said, it was an awesome arc. I do like the whole story, the whole background, the whole char the characters of Velvet and everything, and seeing the you know action-packed episode, the uh, action you know in this thing. But overall, like I said before, I feel like it was placed weirdly. Like they could have just me separate OVAs for the game by itself but I guess they wanted to put it in the middle because all the people who do watch Ufotable who do love Tales of Zestria would end up watching this anime you know Tales of Zestria the Cross adaptation and they would end up wanting to see every episode and then end up seeing these episodes and end up wanting to play the game as well maybe in the future but I'm pretty sure if you're a Tales fan you probably would have wanted to get the game anyway so I'm not too sure on that point but yeah it's all I really gotta say guys honestly it's kind of hard for me to review something that it's, it's just pretty much done already. And now we're going to go back into what's going to happen in the next episode. Is going to be what happened in the end of episode 4. Which was obviously Sode and the rest of them are about... The town is about to be attacked by some malevolent storm. To which I'm not too sure what's going to be coming out of it. what the, How the action is going to be in that episode. But if it was as crazy and action packed as this episode. I am definitely excited for it. I'm just actually excited just to see where we're going to be. Now that we're finally going back on the story of Tales of Zestria. Because I was really excited for what was going to be coming. We got Tales of Berseria instead. Still enjoyed it. Still liked it. But I, I really want to get back to Tales of Zestria story, honestly. So happy that we are going back to it. And that's really all I got to say. So please enjoy this Anime Kingdom review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below if there's anything I missed. And you want to talk about comment below as well. And if you did enjoy, don't forget to give a like. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more content. It really does help the channel. And yeah, can't wait for the next week's episode. So until next time, guys. See ya.